Good morning everyone and welcome back to Mosaic Kids Online. It's really exciting to have you here with us again. You guys are doing absolutely amazing and I want you to know that the Mosaic leaders are always cheering you on. Today we have a new song to sing along to and praise Jesus and this one is a bit special because you may already be familiar with it. It is our very own mosaic band and an all-time favourite worship song. I'll raise a hallelujah. Because when the going gets tough, what do we do? We sing louder, we make a roar and we remind the bad who our awesome God is. Let's raise a hallelujah. Hallelujah In the presence of my enemies I raise a hallelujah Louder than the unbelief I raise a hallelujah My way I raise a hallelujah And heaven comes to fight for me oh, I'm going to sing In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're going to hear my praises roll And I'm from the ashes In the middle of the mystery 
shared with us from the book of Acts and she told us what it was like when the church first began after the death of Jesus. How everyone was overcome with excitement and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well two of Jesus's disciples Peter and John they were amongst those who were so overcome with excitement about Jesus that they were busy telling as many people about him as they could. They even shared the news of Jesus with a beggar who was also unable to walk. And what do you think happened? Well, the beggar jumped up and his legs were like new and he began running around the temple and praising Jesus. And of course, the crowds were all wondering how could this have happened? It was faith in Jesus's power which made the man walk and Peter and John they were telling as many people as they could about him. Some grumpy religious leaders in the temple had been watching Peter and John. They were pretty peeved that people were listening to all this Jesus talk. Peter and John had no right to come here and tell people that Jesus had come back from the dead. They were whipping up the crowds and getting them all excited. As far as they were concerned, that was absolutely not okay. The grumpy leaders then questioned Peter and John. They wanted to know where their power to heal had come from and why they were saying all these things. These leaders had the power to make bad things happen. They'd already had Jesus killed. So many people would have been pretty scared to have to answer all their questions and make them even more grumpy. But the Holy Spirit was with Peter and John giving them the words to say. What are we going to do? How can we get rid of Peter and John? They said. Everybody already knows what's happened. So they told Peter and John that they are not allowed to mention Jesus, not allowed to talk about him ever again. Peter and John told them that it was impossible to stop talking about Jesus. He changed their lives, did amazing things. They couldn't just pretend that it had never happened. God wanted them to tell everyone about Jesus. Even if it made the temple leaders more grumpy. And as soon as Peter and John got out of prison, they went back and continued to tell everyone about Jesus. The Holy Spirit filled them up. And they started to talk about God in super brave and extra loud voices. In Romans 1 verse 16, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes.
everybody and welcome back to Mosaic Kicks News. I'm your host Bruce News. This is my psychic Rick. Did you know astronauts actually get taller in space because there is no gravity? How do you know that? I know. Coming up in this week's news, we see what's happening in Coventry. We check out a new game and see which leader delivers joke of the week. But first, Tell us about the weather bonnet, E. It's, it's cold, but it's too cold, but cozy, too true. And now for our Wear in Coventry challenge, what do you think? Some weather is a lot to look at. And a lot to learn. Now for a game. Okay guys, we have a game and this game is called Tea Cacked and the boys are going to have to flip their tea bags using their heads onto the peak of their caps and the first one to do it will be declared the winner. Are you ready boys? Are you marks? Because they're not using your hands, Judah. Go! <laughs> Charlie just got one on, we missed that Charlie, but why do you've got to get the other one on as well. Does that count? Yeah, that counts as one. Go, go again. Judah's still going, he's having a go. The jumping tactic again, I don't think it's working for you, Judah. And then the spinning tactic didn't quite work. Go in. Come on, you can do it. No. Oh, that was so close. Keep going, go again. Judah's just swinging and he's lost his whole cap. Swing slowly and duck to see if it lands onto his head, but not quite. Go again. Char Judah's trying different, the same tactic. No. So good. It's a good idea, but I just don't think it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> He got the right and the left. Well done, Charlie. That was hard work, but well done, Judah. You need to keep practicing. <laughs> You'll get it. It's all in the technique, or oh, lack of it. Now for the leader joke of the week with Scott. What do you call an Italian with a toe made from rubber? Roberto. Does he think it's funny? Thanks, Scott. Well, that was it for this week's news. So it's goodbye from Bruce. And goodbye from Rick. That is all for this week's Mosaic Kids Online. It has been great to have you with us. Go win your week. Raise your hallelujahs and roar loud. We will be here again next week on the same channel. See you then. Thank <laughs> you.